hi everyone welcome back to my channel on nikki's thoughts and um this morning i think i'm just thinking on if you're new to this channel my name is nikki and i reside in ireland and so i vlog on anything that comes my way that talks um here's something has been bothering me lately and i decided to bring it up here um and that is about marriage um i don't know maybe um you you're listening to me and then you have a trouble 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 marriage um let me just advise you to confront it while you can if you're if you're new in your marriage even if you hold if you've been there for a very long time please confront whatever that is issues in the marriage and so the the area particularly that i'm addressing in the area of abuse in a marriage when you talk about abuse there's financial abuse there's emotional abuse there's psychological abuse there's um physical abuse spiritual abuse all forms of abuses that is coming your way this um this message is not targeted to a gender uh, a particular gender alone it could be either way it could be a male or it could be a female or it could be a woman or a man or whoever that is the one that has the receiving hand of the abuse is what i am i'm talking to this evening i'm um, this afternoon or today or this moment uh, confront it confront whatever that it is that has been troubling you it's very very important that you confront it the earlier the better the earlier the better and even if you not if you've been there for a while and you'll be wallowing in it wallowing in and you see yourself drained you see yourself being in a prison seeing yourself being caged seeing yourself being um just losing yourself losing your mind you know everything it's never too late to confront it I want you to confront the situation before it confronts your life, confront your destiny, and destroy the purpose of God in your life. I want to say to let us know that nobody that God created in this world that is not here for a reason. God created all of us for a reason, a beautiful reason. Either you woman, either you man, God created us in, 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 for a good reason. Do not forget that after God created heaven and uh, created heaven in the Garden of Eden, it wasn't completed. The work is not complete at all until Adam Eve was made. Eve was made because God said, go and fulfill and go and fulfill, multiply, and replenish the heart but after god has just said and done god has created everything he realizes that one thing is missing and that is a woman a woman to bring this up why i mention heave cases to let you know that everybody is important you're not you, you're not created just to be there god created you for a purpose so if you're in a relationship or in a marriage that all this has been destroyed in you please address it like I said, the earlier the better. If you're younger, don't leave it. If you're in the middle, you've been there for like 10 years, 15 years, it's about time to get up. Even if you've been there for 30 years, you know, it's about time to get up and be who God has called you to be. Confront that issue before you've confronted your destiny. I am talking from my experience. Confront the issue before it confronted you i'm a woman in my 50s and so i know what i'm saying i have beautiful grown-up children that god forbid i prayed for their lives they will they will not meet um god will grant them the bones of their bones and the weight of their ribs and everyone no matter how but if something happened right in the in, from the beginning of the marriage it is better to confront it than to wallow in it and say oh i'm a christian and god did not want this god it's divorce god it's bad behavior god it's i'm a believer of the fruit of the spirit <clears throat> which is love patience, long-suffering faithfulness um joy 
peace, faith, I believe in the fruit of the Spirit. But there's, there's a difference between fruit of the Spirit and allow yourself to be destroyed. Wisdom is profitable to the owner. So confront whatever you to be confronted. Confront that thing before it destroys the beautiful my, um, destiny that God has given unto you. Do not forget that we are in a in a world that time is kicking and fasting and going like this, like going. How long you want to sit and just be wallowing and wallowing? Today is going to be good. Tomorrow is going to be good. Let me tell you something. Once you made a mistake, you made a, made a, you made a mistake. Or once something is not right, it's not right. Believing God is very, very important to change. But while you're believing God for change, which I believe so much in change, Job said, I will wait until my change comes. But what's the type of waiting are you waiting? The waiting God is saying is not for you to just stay where you've been beaten down. If you are if if you are in a situation or some you are being beaten and beaten, and then you were given um somebody opened the door for you to run away, and you said, no, I will wait, I will get the beating, I will get beaten. No, you need to you are going now where you're still waiting out there. You can go and wait out there. So waiting doesn't mean that you have to stay in that particular particular situation and that they'll destroy your destiny. Time is fast going, like I'm, I'm I, like I said. If you look at it, we started this year, you know, and January. Look at it, we're already in January. February the 9th. So time is running and going and it's not waiting for anyone. It's not waiting for you. It's not waiting for me. It's clicking. It's clicking. If you're in a marriage, look at that marriage. It's gone. If you're there for five years, seven years, I believe in a marriage to, to allow your marriage to breathe like in the, the next six years. But you will identify if a marriage is going to some kind of background um, problem because you come from a different background that is always what is always eating up marriages initially you will understand if you're going to that background clash or you understand this marriage is full of abuse the abuse aspect of it please confront it anyone that is abusing confront that abuse confront it before it destroy the beautiful destiny you have and this come across every age level either you're young in marriage either you've been there a while after you've been there for a while a long time let me tell you it doesn't get better if you don't confront it it's gonna just destroy you, the one you or destroy the definite de destiny when I say you should confront it, I'm not saying you should confront it and start talking to bad friends, the people that will add more problem to you. Confront it in prayer. Ask God to give you the people you will talk to. You know, learn yourself approved. Study yourself approved. Come when you get the energy from God and pray and do what you supposed to do. Face the situation. Call a spell a speech. Talk to the person if he can listen. If the person that is the one that beats and beats and beats and abuse in any forms of the way, get out of the situation. You can get out of that place, you know, temporarily, in temporary, and see if that is going to make uh, everybody come back to their senses. Do not say that it's going to be good, it's going to be good. Many people have died in a situation like that. Abuse is real confront that situation before he confronted you i'm going to hand you here and i'm coming back please stand up remove that um, tissue that you're cleaning your hands get up and confront it it's not going to help you i'm talking from my spirit god be with you god keep you and until you hear my voice again it's me on any good afternoon or good day god bless us see us bye